to apologize in advance about the voiceover quality. If this works out, I'll pick up a quality microphone setup and save your ears. If you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. I'm going to try something different in this video. I'm going to narrate my experience at Island Dragway. My car is a 2015 Challenger Scat Pack 6-speed manual. My only mods are a skip shift eliminator and a Hellcat air intake. Both of those videos are already in my channel. This is my second trip to the drag strip. The first time I brought the scat pack, but I hung around and supported my fellow club members. In other words, I had my skirt, pom-poms, sat in the bleachers and took video. Throughout the night, I started itching to run, but by the time I got up to do something about it, I backed out because the rental helmets were less than desirable. Having two kids often in the car with me, living in an area dense with, let's just say, not so skilled drivers. I drive my car responsibly. I do enjoy the occasional late night spirited run or a little bit of fun on an on-ramp, but again, all within reason. Oh, I feel so much better now. So prior to this event, I've never used launch control. And remember, I have a manual, so the launch process is a little different than the automatic. If you've never engaged in launch control, I highly recommend for your first time you hold off on the excitement to use it. You'll see why real soon. So here we are, our first time lined up. First tip, get out of your head. You do this all the time. You know how to drive your car. If you're in the lineup, Chances are you have a relatively fast car and you know how to drive it. Some of the things I learned while waiting in the street tire lineup, there are a lot of guys on their first runs. Also a lot of experienced drivers as well. They were all great to talk to and very helpful, even if most of them were Mustang owners who hated my kind. The first thing I learned is get your helmet on before you get in the car. Don't worry about the other guys who wait till the last minute. You need this time to clear your head, go over what you need to do, and just relax. So we're at our first obstacle, the wet box, or in this case, the puddle. If you're running street tires, drive around it. It's not for you. If you're at a track with a short distance to the start, back up to the puddle without getting into it, and do a quick burnout to clean the tires. There's no need for an epic burnout here, especially if you're running street tires. Now to line up. Here I'm thinking, wait, what the? Who put that cone there? Is this lane closed? In this case, it was to move the street tires over out of the real tire area. For me, it was a great way to line up crooked, then have to adjust while everybody watched. So here we are, at the tree just like we practice in our head. Engage launch control. All right, trying to get this scat pack here right in lead lined up. Remember that is the 485 horsepower version of the 6.4 Hemi instead of the 470 horse, just like in the 392 Hemi. Clutch down, gas to the floor, release the clutch, quick but steady. Then proceed to burn your tires for the first eighth mile. And this is why we wait for launch control. Now that we got that out of our system, let's line up and try that again. This time around, I followed some friendly advice. Turn off traction control. Don't use launch control. Drive it like you're on the street, only a little harder, then build up from there. All right, let's review. Helmet on way in advance. Windows up. Skip the puddle. Take 
take your time to line up and do a mini burnout. Oh, there's that cone again mocking me. Oh, and by the way, your first few times, go when you're ready. The tree is a suggestion and a skill you'll practice later, just like launch control should have been. Yeah, that went so much better, but suddenly I forgot how to shift. Out of first too soon, same with second and third, and something went completely wrong with fourth. Wouldn't let me in, made some noise with the clutch down, so I backed off. My times were terrible. 15-6 for the first run, tire spinning. 15-3 for the second where I missed fourth gear. The place was packed, I arrived late, so I was only able to get two runs in. Now while all that sounds, well, negative, it wasn't. I had a blast. The only thing I expected from that night was to drive my car down the strip and not hit a wall. Total success. I'm confident my next visit will be much better and so will my times. As you can see, I'm not an expert, but I hope this video helps someone who's getting prepped for their visit. If you have any advice or experiences you want to share, put them in the comments below and thanks for watching.